Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, Empowered by Magic Angels. This day I am here with a beautiful pattern titled Sea Anemone. And uh, this is a very beautiful pattern for summer throws, for uh, stylish uh, pillow covers and so on and so forth. And it can be mixed and matched with other lace work and lace blocks too. So let's go into the video without further delay. Before that, let me tell you, I've used indigo green aran yarn from Magic Needles and it is uh, color code is 2019 and I've used a 5 mm clover crochet hook. So let's go into the video without further delay. Make a magic ring. Chain 1, it does not count as any stitch. Place a half double crochet and place 15 more half double crochets in the magic ring. I shall place 15 more half double crochets and get back to you. So totally we will have 16 half double crochets. I have placed 15 double crochets, the first double crochet after placing the first. So totally I have 16. Slip stitch to the first double, half double crochet. Sorry, I placed half double crochets. Now don't tighten the ring right now, the center part. Don't pull it tight. Let us finish the first round and then go about it. Chain 3. After chain 3, front post double crochet in the next half double. Three double crochets in the next stitch here. This stitch will likely is likely to hide behind the front post, so you should pick up the stitch and not this stitch. We are very likely to work on this. Then our calculations will go wrong. Then front post double crochet. Again 3 DCs. So the stitch repeat is FP DC, 3 DCs in the next DC. The next HDC. So continue the pattern. Totally we should have 8 FPDCs and 8 sets of 3 DCs at the end of the round. So I shall meet you at the end of the round. We come to the end of the round here. Now we need to place 2 double crochets and slip stitch to the 3rd chain of the first 3 chains. So this completes our second round. This becomes a little tighter. Okay. Now again chain 3 for the third round. This is considered as a double crochet. Now FPDC on FPDC. One double crochet on the next DC. One more double crochet on the same DC and one double crochet on the next, two double crochet on the next DC. So this is the stitch repeat. FPDC on FPDC, two double crochets on first DC, one double crochet on the second DC and two double crochets on the third DC. Again FPDC, continue the stitch pattern all around. I shall meet you at the beginning of the round. We have come to the end of this round and the beginning where we began here. Now place one double crochet in the base of the first three chains. Now slip stitch to the third chain of the three chains here. And slip stitch to the center DC. Now chain 3 counts as first DC and place 8 double crochets in the same stitch.
one more I need to do. Now skip the next two DCs and place a slip stitch, slip stitch on the front post double crochet. Skip next two DCs and place nine double crochets in the next. This is the pattern when stitch repeat for this round. Slip stitch on FP, FPDC, nine double crochets on the middle of the middle DC of the five DC group here. Okay, continue the continue the pattern all around. I shall make this and show you. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Skip the next two DCs, slip stitch to the FPDC. So continue in this manner all around. I shall complete and get back to you. I've come to the end of the round here. I've slip stitched to the FPDC. Now slip stitch to the third chain of the first three chains that we did here. Should take it under both the loops that is little dicey it's becoming dicey with this one okay yeah i have got it Now chain 7, this counts as a double crochet and chain 4. Place a single crochet in the 5th DC. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. chain 4 now one double crochet chain 3 one double crochet in the next slip stitch the slip stitch that we did on top of the front post double crochet chain 3 one double crochet all in the same slip stitch chain 4 single crochet in the fifth and repeat this so 1 2 3 4 5 in the fifth single crochet chain 4 one double crochet chain 3 one double crochet all in the slip stitch so continue the stitch repeat so this DC 3 chain DC V stitch is separated by 4 chains before the SC and after the SC on top of the 5th DC of the 9 DC group okay continue the pattern all around I shall meet you at the end of the round where I began my first stitch here come to the end of the round and I've placed my double crochet in the base of the starting seven chains now make a double crochet in the third chain of the seven chains so one two three here we need to make a double crochet so we have one two three four chains here now pick up your stitch markers four stitch markers and get back place the stitch markers in the corners this is not the corner I'm not going to make this as the corner but I'm going to make this as the corner first corner skip one three chain space in the next this is the second corner skip this the third corner skip one and the fourth corner okay. 
I shall get back with the next round, friends. Round 6 has to be worked little carefully. To begin with, this is not a corner, so I am going to place 2 single crochets in this. 1 and 2. 2 single crochets under this chain 3 space. And in the next chain 4, chain four space, 4 single crochets. And in the next chain 4 space, 2 half doubles. And two doubles. Now we have to make the corner here. For the corner, we are going to make three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. All in the same corner. Now, we have to work in the reverse pattern in this side because after the corner, we need to have two double crochets here. Two half double crochets all in the same chain four space. And then four single crochets, two single crochets, four single crochets. Four single crochets and a chain four, two single crochets and a chain three, four single crochets and a chain 4. Complete that. I shall also complete up to this and get back. Again we need to work the stitches before and after the corners along with the corners. So before the corner 2 half double crochets, 2 double crochets all in the same chain 4 space. Then make the corner 3 double crochets. chain 3 3 double crochets so adjacent to the next corner we make 2 double crochets and 2 half double crochets So this is how it is worked. So I've worked this, these two round, uh, two sides. So complete the stitches accordingly. So where you don't have a corner and a chain three space, you make two single crochets, and the chain four space before and after this has four single crochets. The chain four spaces before and after has. That is before it has, before the corner it has two half doubles, two doubles, then the corner three doubles, chain three, three double crochets. After the corner it is two double crochets and two half doubles. So this is the mirror image like the reverse we have to do. So work and complete the round, I shall complete and get back to you. We have come to the end of the round here, I have placed my last four single crochets. Now it's time to slip stitch and join to the first single crochet that we made. The next round is a very simple round of placing SCs on each of the stitches and in the corner chain 3 space place 2 single crochet, chain 1, 2 single crochet. So it's a simple round. Place 1 single crochet on each of the stitches and when you come to the corners place 2 single crochet, chain 1, 2 single crochet and complete this motif. So complete the stitches and get back. So you can chain one and begin. Yeah, that's better. So chain one. I shall begin from the next stitch. I'll come and complete it over here. One single crochet on each of them.
So the corner two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets. So continue placing. So do not forget to place a single crochet here because this stitch will get hidden. It happens generally it happens when you're working in the round. So complete placing the single crochets, I shall complete and get back. So after placing the single crochets, I have slip stitch joined. I did the invisible slip stitch joined and I within the I, I, I within the yarn I shall snip it off. Okay. So here we go, we complete the C anemone granny square pattern and it comes under the convertible crochet because all the while we were working in the round and then converted into a square motif in the last two last round okay thank you friends for watching this video do subscribe to magic needles channel do not forget to hit on the bell icon so that you're notified of the videos that we upload every other day okay if you like this video do click on the like button and do share it too thanks once again have a great day bye for now